Hey everybody, this is Josh Friedman with 1-0 Digital Media and I want to make a quick video here about how to put a custom background behind yourself when you are in a Zoom meeting. We've been using Zoom a lot these days as we have been uh, working from home and uh, as you can see here I've got an image with some custom branding on it. So first of all I want to talk about the branding. Um, all I simply did was download a royalty free image that I had the rights to use from Adobe Stock in this case, although you can use any stock site, and I just put my logo on it with Photoshop. Save it as a, an image in any 16 by 9 resolution, so this one's 1920 by 1080, and you have an image you can put in the background. Once you open up Zoom, you have to have the most up-to-date version of Zoom. This will not work otherwise. But if you do have the most up-to-date version of Zoom, then you simply click on zoom.us if you are um, on a Mac, if you're on a PC, find your preferences in a pull-down, click on preferences, and you will see virtual background. You'll notice I've already added a lot of different backgrounds to my collection here for different situations. Um, for you, if you're on a Mac, you'll have a few default options. If you're on a PC, you might not. So don't worry, there's nothing here right now. In order to add an image, you simply click on the plus sign for add image, or you can use, use video in the background. I'm going to add an image, and I'm going to add an image I haven't added yet, which is, I think, this one here. And now, I've got a backdrop. Okay. You can add your own branding, which I do in Photoshop. So for example, this image right here, if I move over in the studio, you can see I have put my logo on the backdrop there. And of course, the one that I started with, which is right here, you can see I've added my own branding as well. You can also have a video in the background behind you. Um, I downloaded this video from Videoblocks, which I liked, but I wanted to have my branding on it. So I used Adobe Premiere to add my logo to the video and just exported a new video with my logo on it, and now I have a video backdrop that has my logo. So again, if you want to use these, you just simply find the preferences in Zoom, your settings, and go to virtual backdrop. You can pick any backdrop you want, you can upload them. It looks much nicer than the bedroom that I happen to be working in right now as I'm working from home, and uh, gives me an opportunity to give myself a few different professional backdrops or settings or something creative. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this on YouTube and uh, subscribe. We're working really hard to get as many subscribers as we possibly can to our YouTube channel. Thanks again. I'm Josh Friedman with 1-0 Digital Media.